first month into becoming a self-taught programmer, how has it been? It's been cool, you know. I have a history with IT and let me just say programming web and web development has actually been a recurring theme in my life since 2017 when I left high school, went to this IT internship, you know, while I was busy with the 3017 arc. And yeah, I didn't go into depth with programming, but I learned a few things that actually stuck, especially when it comes to dealing with CSS and HTML, because I had a WordPress website and in order to tweak the template, I had to go into that via Google Chrome. So that was actually pretty cool. And a lot of it is coming back now. So I'm doing free code camp dot orgs bootcamp and that's actually pretty cool that's actually really pretty cool i'm enjoying it mm -hmm. sometimes i struggle but nonetheless you know we keep it moving we keep it progressing and i aim to be done with the front end development that means i'm only going to do the html and css javascript and yeah i think that'll just be it that would just be it. those three HTML, CSS, JavaScript, clean. And then perfect my skills in terms of that, build some portfolios, and then move further into being a full stack developer. But first, let me just be a front end developer and enjoy that stage. While I'm doing the free code camp, bootcamp, freecodecamp.org course. I'm also going to be doing the IBM full stack cloud developer course on Coursera. I'm just waiting for their financial aid acceptance. If I don't get it by the 3rd of August, I'm just going to pay for it because I've bounced back, you know, entrepreneurship 101. Even though it's been a struggle adapting, I have spent so much on data. I've spent so much on a few missed orders that we've had in the past couple of weeks because of the whole strike situation. But that's off topic. So with that being said, yeah, the full stock full stack course is actually pretty cool. I left it at I left it at when we were getting into HTML. Luckily, Code Camp, Free Code Camp also had HTML, and it looks like it goes way more in depth than the Coursera. So, matching those two up in order to become a full stack developer, I think will help me get started. You know, I think that it'll really help me get started. So, aim of the game is to finish the Coursera course also by October, then at least I have an introduction into backend, an introduction into cloud computing. So that once I finish the free code camp, I have a lot more weight because your free code camp goes hard. Some of the things I'm looking at, um, quality assurance, um, yo, there's a lot, there's a lot of stuff that I'm looking at and I'm like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let me just give this some time. There's no rush. If let's just say by mid next year I'm done with it, then it's cool. I just really want to take my time and do this properly and develop the skill and really move into tech. That's my main thing. Moving into tech, building these platforms correctly, you know? That's my life shift. By the time I'm 25, I really want to be in tech at Cape Town. That's my chat. So with that being said, yeah, right now I'm 24, by the way. 24 and six months, straight up. Six moving on to seven or so. So with that being said, that's what's up. That's what's up. Freecodecamp.org. IBM's full stack cloud developer course from Coursera. Those are my main two sources. After that, because I want to be into cloud computing and 
understand it and just operate at that after being a full stack developer and having those you know fundamentals toward immediate in intermediate skills is to you know do the cloud practitioner aws and then also do the developer associates with aws exam and get that certificate because yeah that's what's up that's what i see right now there's a lot of sources online but i feel like those four can just help me set the tone of where it is that i'm trying to get at and yeah it'll help my entrepreneurial journey yeah in terms of what type of entrepreneur i'll be once i develop these front end skills or actually these full stack skills yeah it's a it's it's still a wild question but you know i'm not trying to think about it too much right now with the little skills that i have and that i'm developing i'm just gonna focus on improving Estolo with a little bit of skills and you know once i get into the java you know then i'll start automating certain tasks or actually virtualizing certain tasks because some of the things like um, Amazon's Lex chatbot needs a bit of programming. And I believe that, yeah, once I understand the fundamentals of JavaScript, whatever programming is needed, I'll just, you know, adapt accordingly in order to get it done. Because once I have the principles, I feel like I'll be good, you know, I'll be good enough to, yeah, just deploy these things a little quicker. But ish, as to when, you know, these things are kind of, yeah, let me just say I'm not too certain because my timing has always been rushed. So right now I'm just trying to take it easy, slow, do what I can. But definitely I've touched on legs and I've started building this little chat bot, you know what I'm saying, for the waist trainers. And then I'm going to build it for all the other items, see how it, you know, how it comes together, see the cost of it. And... Definitely, once I am, once I have built an intelligent chatbot, then I know that, okay, cool. We don't need to do the social media stuff, you know, in terms of replying to messages. Yes, we'll just have to analyze, but, you know, at least it cuts the work by half. Now I can dedicate more time to studying, more time to product selection, more time to building the platforms, promoting the platforms instead of just products and working with businesses. Yeah, that's a that's actually the first tone of how I'm going to approach entrepreneurship, but I'm still not too certain about it. And that's how my first month of programming has been. It's just been a matter of gaining insight and understanding where I'm at and taking it from there i'm looking to finish the css and hopefully by yo yeah hopefully in september yeah i start with javascript and by the end of october i end with the javascript course yeah i'm gonna give it a bit of time or we'll just see how it happens because one thing's for sure my time management is not complete and i've learned to you know, try and work on myself, try and encourage myself to do a lot more work because I have a lot of time. I'm not running the stream. 